prior to surgery, the patient for number one needs to be informed about the surgery. And then secondly, they need to be prepared from a medical aspect. And so patients are seen in the preoperative anesthesia testing center to ensure that they're medically safe to proceed with surgery. At this center, the patient can complete their preoperative labs, have their EKG and a chest X-ray if necessary. And all of these are done to reduce the trips to the medical center, improve the experience to minimize uh, the testing. Some patients may also require other medical or cardiac clearance uh, prior to the surgery. Overall, we traditionally have two consultations plus a preoperative appointment prior to surgery. When possible, it's optimal to perform the breast reconstruction at the same time as the cancer surgery or the mastectomy. This is termed immediate reconstruction. This is beneficial because the patient is really um, having the reconstruction at the same time. They don't see the change in the breast as much post mastectomy, and it prevents any scar formation to make it a little bit more difficult to do the delayed reconstruction. Delayed reconstruction is what we call reconstruction that is done at a later time, not at the same time as the mastectomy. When the breast cancer diagnosis is more advanced and the patient requires radiation or for patient preference. Direct to implant reconstruction is a really exciting advancement in breast reconstruction that has been made possible through a lot of innovations, particularly in prepectoral implant placement. The difference between the location where the implant is placed is really a matter of technique and, and a little bit of evolution. In the past, we used to put implants under muscle because we wanted to minimize the scar or capsular contracture that forms around an implant. As we have developed larger acellular collagen options for patients which actually take place of the muscle, we're now able to place the implant above the muscle and use the collagen in a way to support the implant as well as minimize capsular contracture. We are using the implant above the muscle, which allows us to perform the reconstruction in one stage in many cases and avoid tissue expanders. During a mastectomy, the nerves that supplies the sensation to the breast is actually cut and removed with the breast tissue. Um, this leaves the patient with a decreased um, ability to have sensation. However, there's a secondary nerve that can anatomically travel just in the subcutaneous tissue to innervate the nipple area as well as the breast. And this is variable in patients. It's really dependent on their anatomy. The amount of sensation that a patient has will vary from patient to patient um, and is really dependent on multiple factors, including the type of mastectomy performed. Resensation is a procedure that restores a degree of the sensation that is lost during the mastectomy. And this can be performed uh, both when the patients elect to do their own tissue or if they elect to have implant-based reconstruction. I have performed a neurotized breast reconstruction routinely for patients using their own tissue for many, many years. Uh, but the implant-based reconstruction resensation has been a new development and is on the forefront of newer procedures that are done to restore sensation.